Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 2 of the Euro 2024 jersey review. This time we're gonna go through groups C and D. If you haven't seen part 1, please check the link out here. There you can see groups A, group B. You wanna see that one because not only is the best jersey of the entire Euros according to me in there, but also the worst one. So don't miss out on that one. Unlike this part one that was very polarizing, here we are a little bit more on the average and so on. We have uh, some really nice good jerseys, but there's also some that are not so uh, great, but not really, really bad stuff either in there. As I said in the first part, I'm rating all these jerseys on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. We're not running the whole range in this video. I'm also giving you, with a little number on the bottom of each jersey, how I rank this jersey among all of the 52 jerseys that were released for Euro 2024 to kind of give you a little gauge of how the jerseys are looking overall. All the pictures in here I have taken from Football Kit Archive and sometimes I went to the manufacturer's websites as well, you know, if there's a higher resolution picture, a nicer perspective and so on. And lastly, within each group, I'm running through the teams in alphabetic order according to how the uh, country is called in English so that we have that sorted out as well. And I would say let's get started with Group C and the first team is Denmark. And I have to say Homo have released a really nice home jersey. Yes! It is nothing exciting, but it's not really bad either. Uh, I like the patterning in there. I think it's based on some amateur clips in Denmark, but overall the design is very much homo, is very much Denmark. Nothing wrong, but it's also not too exciting either. I have given this jersey a seven stars. You see it is ranked as number 12, so it's definitely one of the better jerseys at these Euros. Interestingly enough, although I like the color of the away jersey, I'm not sure if the away jersey gives me the same vibes as the home jersey. I think the home jersey trimmed with the white color on the red jersey looks much better than here. This mostly purely white number, which otherwise is the same design. I do like, however, how the Denmark crest is really popping out on this one. I rank it as number 21 overall and I give it only six stars, but it doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad jersey. It is just we have a lot of average jerseys in this entire Euros. Another one that goes a little bit down the Denmark home path is of course the England home jersey. When I first saw it I thought this actually looks quite good English. It reminds me of this one that I'm having here which was a centenary jersey. It has a little bit also USA vibe but that's not a bad thing. The one thing that's really odd and what prevents this jersey from ranking even higher and it is already at number 10 so slightly above the Denmark jersey is the kind of weird color. I mean you don't see it here and it doesn't really bother me when I look at this picture but when you look at the players they're not really comfortable with this color overall they pull it up and down it's one of those failed Nike experiments I do like the little accent on the sleeves that is then also mirrored on the St. George's flag which got everyone bent out of shape in England for no particular reason which of course also is a nod to the training wear that was used for the World Cup in 1966 which of course is also a nice touch but I think it adds to this very English looking jersey it's a nice one could it be better? Yes, it could. There could be some accents that could, could be better. Maybe you could even lose the side striping, in my opinion. I gave this a seven star rating. As I said, it's number 10. So it's a pretty good jersey. However, I really like this away jersey. And I shouldn't <laughs> because this is not a classic eagle color. This is basically mixing the bluish tone with the reddish. You get kind of, I think it's called raisin. And then you have sesame, which kind of looks golden. But I have to say the three lions just standing out like this. Yes, they're still in the shield, but it looks different. It looks really, really cool. Add to it the colorful panels on the side, which I guess should represent that England is a very diverse nation overall. I don't know, but you know, this is what I get. It's a really fine looking shirt, I gotta say. And while it's not a classic England away color, this is one that I have also kind of on my list. I rank it number five overall. I gave it eight stars. I think the color could be better. Sleeve cuffs could do a little bit more as well, but it's a really fine jersey at eight stars. Serbia. Yeah, we're hitting a little bit the nadir of this video. I do not like this Puma shirt overall yes it is red i 
don't know what the color gradient should be. The blue sleeve goes all right. The Serbia crest, I know it's the new one. It just doesn't look all right. It's just boring. I think this is the best way to say it. I gave it four stars because I would expect a little bit more from the whole thing. It's not very inventive. Puma jerseys this uh, time are, are not that great. I think if you give this a blue color, this jersey actually would go to five stars. And I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's kind of meh. I do rank the away jersey a little bit higher. Uh, yeah. uh, yes, the color looks of the V-neck that is kind of ending somewhere, but the sleeve cuffs, the sleeve cuffs are really cool on this one. Look at it. There is a certain graphic in there with the red and the blue, which is kind of going to a barren landscape with inserts or whatever. It's weird towers going, so it has kind of this deserty landscape in there, which I think is a really cool touch. I also like that the Serbia crest, although I wouldn't mind it in red, but I think in blue actually sticks out a little bit more as well. This one I've given a five star. Again, it's not a bad jersey, but you know, again, you could have done a little bit more and Puma is not doing it. This time around. But the true disappointment are the Slovenia jerseys. What happened to the design that is back there with the three glove? Now it's just here in, here in the center. They're going, of course, via 11 Team Sports. Nike is not going to do dedicated jerseys for Slovenia anymore. So they have to go the weird route that they've already been using in qualifying. They use a template, then they print something on it. I don't know what the center stripe should be. And yes, the pattern is the three glove mountain, the highest mountain in Slovenia, the triple peak. Okay, it looks nice, but it was so iconic when it was all over the shirt. This is really disappointing. I have it here at a 38 because, you know, at least the template thing is hidden away. I think the Slovenia crest could use also some work. Overall, five star is just about all right. Really bad is still the away jersey. We use the same, same design, but you know, here every patch, especially this one is colored underarms. I get it that it's blue, but just not doing it for me. This is a three-star jersey and it ranks rather low on the counter. Overall, together with what you see in part three Slovakia, these are some of the most disappointing jerseys and also throw in Puma. Speaking of Puma, let's go over to Group D where we see Austria, my home country. And I gotta say both Austria jerseys just about okay. Probably some of the better Puma jerseys released for these Euros. As I said, the home jersey, yes, Crest, still don't like it. But weirdly enough, I'm getting used to it. I think it does what an Austria jersey should do. The only thing I really don't get is this weird graphic that's all over. It's supposedly our art, blah, blah, blah. I don't really get it. I think this is based on some 100 Wasser designs. I said it in a video that I released in March when this was uh, released. But yeah, nothing great. But it's not bad either. I have it at 31. I gave it a six star and I think this just tells you the story. I do like the away jersey though a little bit better. I really like that they go back to a traditional Austria look, but then they add turquoise, which is kind of contentious around here as well. But I have to say here, I don't mind it overall. It's just that the pattern, which should be inspired by the wings of the eagle, uh, yeah, it's a little bit too geometric. I would have wished it a little bit more feathery and less axy in there. But, you know, it adds an interesting accent overall. To me, this is a slightly better one of the two. I have it at number 23 in the overall count on it, but I also give it only a six star. The Austria jerseys, I think they're just what they are. They are okay but they're not outstanding and yes eventually they will end up in my collection i'm pretty certain about that going over to frost second best jersey overall the only thing that bugs me is the asymmetric collar but thankfully there's a flag collar so this is kind of hidden away but there are so many things to love here a they're going back to the tra traditional French color, the royal blue. Yes, I like the navy blue jerseys for France. I really did. And they were some of the highlights every time. But when they got out with this one, boom, I was already on board. It is very subtle. You have the flag color. But then, of course, the big feature is this giant French rooster in full color. And while I've said, you know, I have bought almost all the recently released Frost jerseys, I'm not gonna add another one that I'm seeing this one and think, oh man, this looks really good. And I really ought to have this one. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not gonna go immediately for it, but it's a really nice one. Needless to say, 
it's nine stars and it's only because of the asymmetric color that's why i have it slightly below the germany jersey two completely different approaches to classic designs but when they played each other in this friendly and i hope this will be also a matchup in this euros this was some of the best jersey matchup i've seen in ages it just looked awesome bar none the away jersey though still giant rooster there and i see that there's inspiration from you know the early 80s design where you had the pinstripes now but instead of have alternating pinstripe in red and blue you have one half in red the other one in blue with a slight gradient in there to kind of get the flag and i have to say i'm not sold on this one i love that the pinstripe also continue on the sleeve so that's all right but to me there's something a little bit missing here i think the mixture made it really good on this classic jersey and especially that the gradient in the, middle, in the middle fades yes i get it french flag just doesn't do it it's a bit weird but it's also i agree with it despite having a slight pajama or maybe baseball look it's not a bad jersey overall i mean i gave it six star you see it in the ranking it's 32 so just <laughs> behind austria's home jersey it's not bad nike doing a good good job here but i would have expected a little bit more netherlands another great nike work by being rather plain but look at it the template really can shine through i absolutely love the two different shades of orange then trimming it in this dark blue and then have the lion on a light blue shield is a color scheme that we haven't seen with the dutch so far but it looks really 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 well this was a jersey that i was not so excited about when i first saw the first leaks but then the more i see it the more i actually like it and i'm thinking yeah I might actually like this one over the French jersey, not by rating, but you know, if I think about my collection and so on, that one is damn fine. I have it number six and it is also an eight star jersey. When Nike does it well, Nike does it really, 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 really well. Though with the away jersey, yeah, that's not so well. <laughs> uh, the colors, great. The pattern, I don't know. I mean, it's not a horrific jersey in any, any way, just a little bit out there. And I would like to know what was the inspiration behind that. I also find that here the light blue shield gets a little bit lost. Maybe an orange shield or something like that would be better. And of course, you have the asymmetric color, which is, I think, the thing that I dislike the most. It's number 30, 33. You see, it's a little bit lower. I find the color scheme pleasing, but everything else is not quite right. It's a five star. And the last team that we have here is also a Nike team in Poland and it's a classic Poland jersey where the color has the same problem as we had with the England shirt. Other than that, everything centralized and this actually makes this jersey look quite nice. The eagle is maybe riding a little bit high. I honestly would wish that Wush and Eagle would be exchanged, but it's classic Poland. I mean, you cannot really mess much with it the only thing i want that goes to number them below the swoosh because everything else i mean i should have looked look it up would look a little bit odd if it is asymmetric it's a fine jersey it's number 27 which is about as much in the middle as you can be and for that reason it's a six star and the away jersey though yeah similar logo placement i'm not sure about this weird gradient design there are a whole lot of reds on this one that i'm going back and forth do i like it but i always fall more on the not liking especially that some of the reds go with the more in orange than with the dark red it's weird i would like to know is this just template or is this just something that has to do with poland as a country i think it's the former if you were to ask me it looks really weird on the right sleeve where you have the dark red shoulder and suddenly the light red sleeve doesn't quite do it for me this is one of the not so good jerseys in this video number 40 i gave it a four star so there you go these were my thoughts on the jerseys from group c and d and yes there's maybe a little bit national coloring but i really think that the austria jerseys are not that bad as some of the other puma shirts that have been released and we saw that nike when nike do it well they can release some really really nice jerseys as we saw for the big teams like england france and the netherlands and even the Poland home jerseys not that bad although it's not a classic like the one i have up here in any case let me know your thoughts on this jersey which ones do you like or dislike where do you agree and disagree with me give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video part three will be coming right on the day that the tournament starts and I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe.
Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.